What's good people? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Uh, remember hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Um, it's a bit late. I, I've, I, know, I went out Friday drunk. I went out Saturday drunk. This is Sunday. I should be recovering because I'm going to literally go gym all week. I'm going to literally go gym Monday to Friday because I fly out to Nigeria um, the week after to do some boxing show. So this is my last couple of drinks, I think. He says, but fuck it anyway, only live once in it. I mean, pfft. cheers people. I, I don't agree with this as well, by the way, having a Jack Daniels in this cup. It should be in a tumbler, but it is what it is. And it's got to be straight as well. You've got to have it neat. I don't understand why people put JD and Coke. I, I don't get it. I've, you've got to have it neat. I mean, ice cubes, okay, maybe, but you can't mix it with them. <sighs> anyway, all that shit over. We have... I think it's not officially announced, is it? I mean, it's kind of been confirmed, semi-confirmed at least. So I'd say it's probably 90% done. James the Girl versus Chris Eubank Jr. Woo! Fucking like, you know, December looks like it could be madness. Like, it's crazy. I, I, boxing didn't used to be like this, or did it? Like, it does seem as though we're getting fight after fight after fight. Like, every single week, it seems like something's happening. I don't know if it's because we've got so many different promoters and TV stations interested in boxing now, streaming platforms like The Zone, ESPN Plus, whatever. So it feels like we've got about eight different um, like channels and um, subscription services competing with each other. It's just crazy right now. It honestly does feel like there's fight after fight after fight. I don't know if that's because I'm counting mixed martial arts in this, but it does seem like every single week there's something going on. Like, oh, if I go, I'm going to miss something. But December's crazy, obviously. So if we do get, and I... I 90% sure we'll get it now. Chris Eubank versus James the Girl. Literally the week before that, I was going to say the week after, but the week before, Fury Wilder, fingers crossed. I don't know why it is, I'm still a bit nervous about that one. But fingers crossed we get that. And then hopefully, and I don't know what's going on now, it does seem as though it's gone quiet again, White Ortiz. Plus there'll be stuff in between. Frampton, Warrington, fucking hell! That's just for all the UK kind of base fights. I'm, I'm not even doing the ones in America yet, it's crazy. So, um, boxing fans, we cannot be pissed off right now. There's so much going on. Um, but James the Girl, Chris Eubank Jr. is a good one. It really, really is a good one. You've got Chris Eubank Jr. that's not as good as we thought he was, let's be honest. And we've got James the Girl who is past his sell-by date. But sometimes those things can make good fights. It doesn't have to be two peak athletes going at each other at the right time. You can't have two guys that... And not quite as good as we thought they were. Or James the Girl was, I think. And I think he achieved good things and is on the way down. And Chris Eubank just simply isn't as good as I thought he was going to be. So we've got two guys that I think are meeting on even terms because of that. Um, it's a great matchup. Um, I don't know where it is. I'm going to guess it's going to be O2 Arena. And if it is, I think it'll do good numbers. I think it'll set out, actually. Because can you... like? They, they both love hearing their own sounds of their voices, so the press conferences are going to be fantastic. James the Girl has had issues with Chris Eubank Jr. for years, so that helps. Let's be honest, we all like a bit of hype, and these guys will bring hype. It's not fake beef. I mean, that's a term that's been thrown out quite loosely recently. It's definitely not fake beef. These guys do not like each other, and both of them genuinely think that they can beat the other. Um, Chris Eubank Jr. is convinced that James the Girl doesn't live the life, probably doesn't, and thinks that's going to be his undoing, might be. Whereas James the Girl thinks Chris Eubank Jr. is just a shit boxer. So something's got a gift. Someone is lying here, right? It's going to be fantastic. Um, I do wonder about Chris Eubank Jr. at 168 pounds. I've said this before. He has gone back and forth with Billy Joe Saunders, and he did mention something about coming to get Billy Joe Saunders' belt. So I wonder if this will be his last fight at 168, win or lose, and he'll go back down to 160. Which makes sense, even though 160 is horrific for him. Horrific. It really is. I mean, whew, fuck me. Horrific. Charlo, Andrade, Jacobs, Billy Joe. Billy Joe pops back down there. Canelo, GGG. I favour all of those to beat him. Beat him convincingly as well. So, it's a horrible division. So, maybe he might just stay his ass at 168 and start eating. And just become big. Because 160 is frightening. Plus... Plus, sorry, let me get a bit of this again. If you're under 18 and watching this, don't drink, it's not good for you. Plus, I don't see any trainer. I d still don't see any trainer. All I see is a few security guards holding up pads for him. I don't see a trainer. Look, look for me, you got beat by George Groves in February. He was back in the gym the next fucking day. I give you a month off at best. From March onwards, for me, you should have been with a trainer. 
And then we March, what, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Ten months that trainer would have had to make you understand what he wants. You would have had that little fight you had in Jeddah. Ten months a trainer would have been with you and you would have been fully prepared for James the Girl. For now, obviously it looks like you're going to have the same trainer, possibly your dad in the corner. And that, I think, is going to be your downfall. I, I, mm, I don't know. I'll do a prediction video closer to the time, but... It's a great fight. If I am in London, I think I am not, so no point talking about it. I would have gone because it's just a great one. The press conference is going to be fantastic. Um, I always like a fight that I think in my head is 50-50, which I think this is. Plus, um, I think people are split on it. I've seen some comments already. People have left on Twitter saying it's a 50-50 fight. It's a great fight. It really is a great fight. And again, British fight fans are really enjoying their time at the moment. I know we moan about pay-per-view and this one will be on pay-per-view, but look, fuck it, stream it if you have to. Um, but we can't complain. We are getting the fights we kind of wanted. I wanted this fight. You wanted this fight. We get this fight. So cheers.